Yo, what up, family? What up, you mooks and goons? Hope you've been making me some money. Until then, welcome. I am the Ron. You should know that by now. I'm the boss. First of all, I'm the god of this shit. I'm the fucking Ron. <laughs> Just some aggressive, uh, Nick Gage callbacks. But anyway, no. Uh, hi, I'm the Ron. I'm here. And, <coughs> goodness. Uh, Baldur's Gate on a Wednesday? What a crazy idea, right? <laughs> Um, the plan is still, you know, it, just for this week, shuffling around the schedule, um, uh, tomorrow will probably be Yakuza, Friday, if Luminary Plum can join me, that will be, um, uh, Sandrock, and then next week, you know, back to the usual, back to the usual jam of, of Monday, Baldur's Gate, Wednesday, Sandrock, Friday, Yakuza 4, uh, as part of the larger Let's Get Through the Yakuza series, uh, and then Tuesday and Thursday, just kind of whatever, you know, we figure it out. So yeah, that's it, that's life, that's how we do it. Ah, uh, the timing was almost perfect. We, we, we were so very close to perfect. But, you know, we ball. Under 10 minutes late starting and, and, uh, I think it was under 10 minutes late starting. Apparently not. I don't know. Doesn't look. It doesn't matter. We we're 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 in it. I need to. Oh. What is this? No, relax, buddy. My watch is going to be on me at all times. Uh. I'm not setting any kind of activity goals. Calm down. Now is fine. All right, let's go. Let's actually get the monitor up fully. Now, because I did play a little bit on my own, and I remembered, and I remembered to turn those off. I didn't get very far, but I did play a little bit by myself. See, I'm not thinking for real. So, on the one hand, I've been made to understand that Jahira's death is going to complicate uh, some things a little later on in this. On the other hand, since there are multiple points and ways in a given playthrough that Jahira can die, I was originally thinking about maybe, you know, going back and, and reversing her death. Um... But, because somebody was like, oh, it's not good if she dies. Like, it's going to complicate things. <clears throat> but then I'm also like, okay, but, like, if you go evil and you betray her, like, there's so many other ways in which Jahira can die in the... You good? Just wait for the shit to load. Um... There's so many ways for Jahira to die independent of 
this battle that I was like, you know what? I said I was going to live with my sins. We're living with our sins. Counterpoint. Looting is going to be a pain. Instead of its dexterity modifier, the effect of the entity adds its spellcasting modifier. Ooh! That's kind of nice. I'm not to the camp. Uh, yeah. We're gonna send Jahira's personal effects to the camp. Um, sure, why the hell not? I don't know why I'm sending them to camp. Anyway, yeah, Teehee. Ah, Shadowheart. I'm overloading. That's fine. It really doesn't matter. Hey, thank you for the, the lurk, Zed. Do as you need to do, me brethren. Alright, I think I can get, like, one more... Oh, whoa! Hold on. Zerl's personal reminder. Balthazar has sent neither word nor notice. Wherever he's gone is a mystery. Need someone to investigate his chambers, but no doubt he's rigged the thing to high hells. Perhaps hobgoblins. I might play this tonight instead of Kenji. Okay, there you go. Now you can't carry no more. Here's what I'll do. I'll keep looting bodies. And then depending on where that puts me for looting is where I'll decide if I uh, live with my sins or not. Maybe. I don't know, maybe I'll just live with my sins like I said I would. What have we here? <clears throat> I might just live with my sins like I said I would. Camera? I am listening. Okay, we're fine. Whoa! Sensitive weapon, gain a plus one. Bonus to initiative rolls and advantage on perception ability checks. Cool. Adroit reflexes. When you make an attack roll as a reaction, you make it with advantage. Hey, hey. I think I'm going to just send that to camp for now. Sulfurous note. To whom it may concern. Frug. Oh, Malaya. Hello, darling. Frug got his head stuck in a butter barrel, and when his little imp thing tried to help him, they both fell off a ledge into a volcano. I laughed so hard, Zariel sent me out of the room. Other than that, you haven't missed much, though I'm, I've sure as hell missed you. <sighs> Kisses and hugs, uh, Flo. That sounds like something uh, Neil Nubon would have written. He loves to do the X and O, uh, uh, Neil Nubon, voice of Astarian. Uh, enraging heart garb. While raging, the wear generates two turns of wrath. Well, too bad I don't have a, uh... Well, whatchamacallit right now. Too bad I don't have a barbarian, because, uh, you know, decisions push me into an evil run. And, uh, uh, you know, I smoked Karlak. 
Why didn't smoke her? She she left her on her own. But how are you, darling? I am uh, looting, as you can see. Oi, 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 oi! Alright, never mind. I thought you were taking stuff from the body. I was about to say, no, 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 no. You didn't kill nobody. You don't get to take shit. Now, I'll give you shit. Not for free, mind you. <clears throat> but, you know, I will, I will, I will gift you things. Well, gift you things. Never mind. That implies I'm not gonna uh, demand money from. Whoa, hold on. Disciples Rel. Okay, Absolute's Protector. If the wielder bears the Absolute's brand, which I do, but uh, I also can't use shields, all damage received from spells is reduced by one. Well, sadly, that does not help. Uh, yep, we're going to keep everything else, and we're going to immediately use this here tadpole. Um... I already have the Shield of Thralls, Perilous Stakes, there's a creature with the power that heals it when it attacks, but also makes it vulnerable to all damage. Yeah, I don't know about that, buddy. Um, Very well, darling. Lurk and work. This seems interesting. Thinking for real. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, With haste. Adept Furic. You've got things, and now your things are my things. Now let's go up here. A few of the survivors. Let's just quick save. Uh, you know what? Let's actually go up here first. Yep. Yep. Nice. Now, back down you go. So why is my heart rate so fucking elevated? I don't know about all that. Me personally, with all due respect. Yeah, I bet to say, y'all better calm down heart rate at fucking 91 and 84. Hell no. Calm the hell down. Um, the Woden.
Just tell me what you need. Uh, oh, you, you have no money. Is that... No, you have money. What the fuck? Don't lie to me. I need to move stuff. And not a small amount of it either. I'm just gonna. I might just send that to camp, the major's friend, because like I never know when I'm gonna need it, and I never like think to equip it in time ever. <laughs> I'm thinking about just you know handing it over, putting it back in camp, but I don't know. But I don't know. Okay. Now, darling, for you. Oh, 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 oh also. Look at me just missing things to sell. That's good. Yeah, okay, we can we can go back to Minthara. Ah uh, Hank. I might send some of these books Shadow Heart has on her. I might actually send those off to camp as well at this point. I don't know. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm as confident as I can be that I didn't miss anything to give away. We don't need no basic ass, junky ass, just regular ass plate armor plus one. Thank you. Okay, well, we still got more stuff to give you. Blade darling, so uh, prepare your butt for that, I guess. Might be, darling. Our table got smashed, but stuff's still floating. Let's see what's up with that iron banded shield plus one. It might just be, you know, AC plus one, essentially. In fact, that's probably exactly what it is. And it's not, you know, particularly special. What's hiding here? Uh, yep. Yeah. Just an ordinary plus one shield.
dried rope sausage. There you go. You could take that. I'll have this scroll of chromatic orb. Now, we've already done quite a bit of looting through here before. You know, as well we can see. Something slimy seems to be dripping from the rafters above. How observant of you. Potion of. But now is not the time. It is always the time. You better calm down. Take that. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> On weapon coatings. Oh, this is a basic ass book. We don't care. The Blood War. If ever there was a conflict in the planes of existence, a conflict that swelled up as if filled with pus, bursting only to scarify and atrophy and never heal, only swell up and squirt itself out again, a never-ending pus carnival of pain and misery, the blood war would be that conflict. Jesus, fuck. It raged, and rages still, truth be told, between the demons of the abyss and the fiends of the nine hells. Cunning Yugloths may play one side against the other, but the conflict would swell and burst, and swell again without much coaxing. It is in both sides' nature to fight. Now, whatever you say, I don't know about none of that, but sure. Um Who's next? Have a lot on my mind. If there was anyone who I wanted to get a f basically a free long rest, it would be uh Shadowheart. For Minthara, that's going to be an issue. I have a bunch of my... You know what? Keep your distance, Honestly, in terms of resources... So that's progress. This is probably the right way to go. No one's stopped me yet. I can just do this. Oh, great. Well, there you go. Meanwhile. Just because this fight took... Oh, you have one already. Um, you're taking the long rest one. You have a... Sh you know what? You already got one. Give me one. Slow down. I don't think I'll take it, but what a day. What's next, um, 
just yet because that wholeness of body really helped, but uh, I think this is fine for now. I love this idea that you could just, like, do this during combat. In your name. That might get you to full health. Yeah! Plus you got your spell slots. Now for you, darling. Beautiful. So now, what I'd like what to do. is at least get Fight you jokers to full health. This way. And, uh. You're still breathing, despite everything. I mean, I. It, I'm not getting my luck, obviously, but. Yeah, you know, I'm basically, uh. I'm basically, uh... Oh, that second bonus action went away already. It's fine. You know, with, with Kalon, he doesn't have his luck, but he, he, he basically has the benefits of a long rest. I hope this is important. For your sake. Minthara basically has the benefits of long rest. Uh, uh, I mean, Shadowheart just does. Don't touch me. So, you know... Um, pretty epic. Let's not let's not take any chances here. Now I'm back home. Brilliant. You know what? Go ahead and give uh, give Minthara some temporary hit points. There you go. These things have stayed interesting. Everyone's got temporary hit points. It ain't much, but you know, three is better than nothing. So we ball. On my way. Oh, steel claw. Moment to talk. Got something to say to me now. Quiet, lest I miss its cries for mercy. All right, whatever. See you later. Can I throw these now to pick them up? Damn. All right. Ugh. Ugh. By my oath. Collected. Now is not the time. Darling, it is always the time when I'm around. Darling, I'm the sort of person you make the time for, do you understand?
vacant as an orc skull. Seems a bit cruel to say, darling, although... Uh... Still accurate in the assessment, I suppose. I'm not going to do that voice the entire time this stream, I think. I know last time I did, but I think this time I'm going to be a little more natural. Alright, well, now we get to the point Our where still draw breath. people are just going to start getting encumbered. What am I to do? And that's fine. Barnabas. Ever the fool, you Barnabas. Not call it a fillet, a fillet. No, I think it's supposed to be a fillet. Whatever, it's fine. We don't care. And also, you know, this is where I've heard the British call it fillets more than fillets. I'm sure the you know what I don't words. Who cares? If I knew, I would know. You could take that to the to the bank, Daddy. Take that to the bank, Jack. The American dream doth their roads. Just out here looting, Daddy. Well, hello. Get your sitcoms and major motion pictures, baby. grab up more food I mean I guess the Starian still eats food somehow I don't really know it doesn't really matter Take it all. If it's not nailed down, it is yours. Because anything of even a single gold's value will become a gold. And all that gold accumulated will become other things. Armor, weapons, potions, and scrolls. This is the path to success. Yeah, actually, keep, keep looting. It is. You might not think so. With the way I simply grab everything, but... Intriguing. At once. Allow me to assure you that once we are in front of a merchant willing to pay top coin, you will see how for the better this was, this venture... Holy no time to flame, rest. is it? Time to press ahead. Well, we know how we handle such a flame. Oh yeah, I guess you would have to go that way. You need my expertise. Yeah, which means you better slow your roll. Actually, what that means, I think, is we should all slow our rolls here for a minute. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Keep it quiet. Okay. 
Darling, you are not the one who makes demands. I am. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I kind of don't want to live with my sins now. Like, I do, but I don't. You know what? Whatever. We'll figure it out. Your here is dead. I'll, I'll, uh... I'll find ways to mitigate weight. Don't know how, but I will. Just tell me what you need. I need you to empty my pockets, please. And with all haste. We can always sell some food. As well. Because, you know. At the rate that I typically long rest, like, I won't really need all of it. Don't mind me, I'm having a, uh, I know I went, like, completely, completely silent. I may have had a um, uh, as my mom liked to call it, uh, a very brief psychotic episode internally. may have uh, briefly lost my mind but I think it's back I think we're good Forget something here. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Couldn't see you throw the bodies. Just tell me what you need. That's fine. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I had to time that well. Just as well. Keep your distance, girl. What's max level? Twelve. Twelve is max level on this. Let's get going. Yeah, all right. Got a long road ahead. Eh. Let's see. Moving in. Oh, while we're here as well. Just this way, darling, if you would. Quell the holy fire. Maybe holy in nature, but, you know. Still a little bit of ice. We'll put that right out. 
That makes sense. Sure. Why the hell not? Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, shut the hell up. Watch. In You've been in inactive. Yeah, because I'm sat down streaming. But damn, let a boy live. Or give me one second as well. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the hell is happening? Alright, that's whatever. We ball. This is all fine. Uh, so anyway. This calls for careful footwork. Ah, yes. Oh, the... That's not who I thought would have been... Whatever. You know what? It's fine. Does the holy fire ever reignite after a while? Or is it not nah, just out? Alright, whatever you say, man. Another step forward. Oh, I, I recognize Mason two 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 that name. I wonder if that ended up becoming a bot as well. What is... Oh, I just... <laughs> Whatever. I don't care that I got less value on junk. No, I, I, I was like... There are two people who had, I had my eye on as, as being potential... Um... Like, stream unwanted bots. And rather, right now, I'm thinking that they've become uh, dungeon raid bots. Matter of fact, since we just played fucking, uh, you know, Dungeon Raid yesterday, Kukudo, let me see. Yep, they have been added. Cool. What happens if I talk to you now, Betty? Would it be Betty good or Betty bad? Her cathedral will stand in the city, true soul. Oh, you don't care? Buddy, there's a war on. Hey, you know what? Let me, uh... Let me help you out here just a little bit. Uh, 
Um, a lot of holy fire just hanging around here. Hanging around a twist. That's fine, because I could just... What spot? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Spot marked on the map. Is it above? I don't know what you mean. Kid, to what spot are we referring? Alright, so it's clearly below. Ah, whatever. Take one damage. I don't know how long I was muted. Hopefully not too long. Let's see. Anyway, what what spot are we talking about marked on the map? Also, I have no clue if, if it came through before where I was talking about, like... Uh... Where I saw people who I thought might have been, like, uh, bad actor view bots, and then turned out, no, it's just Kukudo, uh, dungeon raid bots. You know, people to help with the dungeon raids. Alright, so it's not here. Can I... Okay, now put 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 the wood out, please. You're talking about here is a spot marked on the map. Ah, the cracked Ah gotcha. Okay. Understood. Did that miss? What? Ah, uh, okay. All right. Now I see. Well, it ain't much for treasure, but, you know, we take... We take what we can get. Um... Betty, my son... I don't really know how to... say this or tell you this but um I feel like I gotta I gotta smoke you you know kind of the same way I smoked everyone else that's just kind of my my opinion on the matter you know just to just to get him with a little bit here of uh no what do you mean target is too far What? Target Betty. Alright, well, that's fine. I can just do this. 
There you go. You sought a fight, and now you have one. Cool. Well, that rather was the plan here. Now that you burn, darling. Carefully. I have to survive this. And you shall. Well, certainly this encounter you'll survive. Okay. Let's go. See ya. Veiled in shadow. No need. few nice things for me. That's 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 pretty good. Candle stick for that candle dick. I don't know what that means, but I sure said it. But I sure said it. All right, let's let's uh Um, let's go this way. Now, you want me to go up, which I will. But I'm also going to go down at some point as well. Undeath here. Survive. I'll try my best. I keep sitting here, like, thinking about if I want to, like, flip a coin or do something to, to see about getting Jahira, giving Jahira a second chance. But then I'm just sitting here, like, with all the looting and everything else I've done, like, nah, man, it's fine. She's just, she's dead. I gotta stick to my guns. You know, didn't want her to die, but it, it's just the way it is. Have seen everything. Open up. I really didn't want her to die, but, you know. Decisions were made, and I do feel like I have to stick with them. I do need a little extra light here. You know, especially as I don't know if, uh, you know, moving forward, I don't know if I'll even. be able to keep you here like she I might make decisions where she might just go all right bye I don't know so pretty sure I also lose out on Minsk because you know Jahira couldn't survive this but that not my fault that she sucks you know a death shepherd Well, the necromites are easy to kill, so that's that's something at least. Yeah, this is fine. Time to push my luck again. May the gods take you first. Nah, I don't want to use any of my key just yet. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, see you later, buddy. It's up for you. Don't play with me.
You know what? Take the opportunity attack. We don't particularly care. Or it doesn't really matter at all. Cool. Okay. My victims await. Nothing important is ever easy. Incubate death, huh? Skeletal Invoker. Yeah, keep incubating that death. You know, let's see what happens. Let's see if you get that far. Especially because your little buddies here are, are you know, scrub lordish in nature. Well, great. <laughs> Are any of these? Yeah, a bunch of these are blinded because of the the weapon here. Well, so soon follow dust. Isn't it rather a pity? That it is truly as easy as all. Oh yeah, nah, it's all. It's up for you, little boy. Oh my God! You got more for me like that? Yes, you do. Holy shit! The way you had more for me, in fact. They're yeah, I'm about to say they're, they're, they've got to be immune to poison. Can you feel death's cold grip? Hmm. They will, darling. Of this, I can assure you. You know, I'd rather not take my chances. Uh, did you... I guess you saved against being blind. That's all fine. Yeah, you know, suddenly, uh, your little action economy advantage, uh... Fresh orders. You know, isn't advantaging so much. I will not fail. A starian, darling. Uh, incubating. Skeletal will explode on its turn and birthing a necromite. Ah, okay. So that explains what that is. So I really do want to kill the humans first. But for now... The way that they're so pathetic. It hardly seems to matter. No what now? A simple answer. Kill more. Where are you getting 28 from? Hold on. That seems really high. Favorable beginnings? No, that's attack roll. 28 bludgeoning. 
How are they vulnerable? Oh, they're vulnerable to bludgeoning damage. That's right. Skeletons tend to be vulnerable to bludgeoning damage. So... Yeah, Kalon's gonna clean up. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is gonna be... This is gonna be wild. Alright, well then. Let's focus on the enemies in front of me, darling, shouldn't I? Well, well, we'll figure it all out. We'll figure it all out. I might get Papa John's tonight. I just suddenly have a hankering for Papa John's. Oh, is that all you've got, darlings? No more summoning of your little necromites. Hmm. Pathetic. Especially as your necromites aren't worth much of a tinker's cuss at all. Ooh, that one hit. Maybe I shouldn't talk shit so much. Eh, I can talk shit a little bit. What's your AC? Oh no, that's wrong person. I can't even catch my breath. Your is 21, that's what I thought. Yeah, good luck with all that, my boy. Still on my feet. Hmm. Okay. Can I get here? I can. You know, I I have to feel like these idiots must have thought they miscalculated on like, oh, we're going to summon a bunch of skeletons. Oh no, a guy who punches who just like scatters bones easily. Oh no. Shall indeed be unleashed. I love how it. Hold on, what's your AC? 11. Wow. Yeah, get out of here. With disadvantage, you ain't got shit. I'm sure you have, darling. Well, wait, what? 60 feet. Six, well, why is there a longer reach on this? What do you mean? I don't know. You know what? Whatever you say. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's, let's pop a... Let's pop that healing word. Ah, uh, it's regular healing word. I want mass healing word. Um, nah, I changed my mind. I don't want healing word on... I don't want the mass healing word. Go ahead and, uh, 
Go do that, since you're gonna be the... Oh, right! Stupid ass! Oh, bone chill, you can't heal! Oh, I wasted that. Oh well, it's fine. Oh, I am embarrassed. It's fine. Is Incubate Death a bonus action? Jesus Christ, these fireballs. Alright, you know what? It's up for you three morons. See y'all later. Mercolite Scourge. Oh, it does an additional 1d6 necrotic. It's a plus one. Alright, yeah, send it to the camp. Let me strike. Um ah. Yeah, do a lay on hands. That's going to use two charges, but it's fine. Just do it. I'm ready. Because now you can do this. Um, yeah, third level is fine. No! Hold on, you have Mask Cure Wounds, I think. Oh, right, but you don't have an action. That was the issue. Um, yeah, this is fine. Just do third level. We'll figure it out. Yes. Dumbass. Let's have some mm, darling. So you just... Oh, no, you... It, it, right, you have that off of your hand crossbow. Hmm. <laughs> 70, 90, 70... Uh... Get it, 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 take all of these. Ah, the way you were almost dead, for real. Oofa doofa. Blood comes easy these days. All right, well, things are definitely not looking good for this squad. Uh oh. Things aren't looking good for me either, but, you know, we, we'll figure it out. I think we can figure this out. Especially with you, Bone Chill, Vistarian. We can't be, uh... We can't be, uh... Having you... Um, what am I trying to say? We can't be having you take unnecessary hits. Okay. Right away. Still breathing, despite everything. 
You know what? Take the opportunity attack. No, you suck. But we need to take these morons off the... You know, take them off the field here. Yeah, it's fine. Keep one, sell the rest. Damn. Well, that's also fine, because, you know, you still, uh... You still got roll messed up. <laughs> yes, yeah, up for you. Yes, yeah, up for you. Don't play with my name. Um. react now. That's fine. I don't want you using up all your spell slots. be honest uh yeah no, no actually this is this is what I want to do this goes good. Make it hurt. no choice but to keep going there we go death won't take me yet easy what's in here easy I said getting pelted by a million fireballs it's fine. Wonder if the gods are watching. All right, we need to heal up here. Awaiting orders. Into position. Let's get everyone packed in nice and tight, tight as we can here. Prodiposhi. There we go. Um, I'll throw one of these, I think. Oh, I didn't get... Hey, um, that's fine though, because you could just drink your own. That'll do. All right. Hmm. <sighs> Now then. If not over, then through. Where does this door lead me? Well. Led me somewhere where I never I've never been, apparently. Maybe. I don't know. Uh ah. Led me just out here. Indeed. Let's look for more things to steal. Well, I guess it's not really stealing anymore because we, you know, killed the previous owners. 
So now, uh, it's just mine. Oh yeah, I think this was considered like a trespassing area or something. Maybe. Maybe not. No! Was I not out here? I feel like I've been out here before. I don't know. It would be fucking bugging. I don't know. According to all of these unlooted things, I was not out here. And yet, according to the minimap, I've been out here. I think there are just too many eyes for me to take stuff last time, and, you know, now that there, uh, there are significantly fewer eyes now, so, I think it really is as simple as that at this point. Either way, Teehee, all your stuff is mine now. No, I don't know what you're it here. D it, take, 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 take the barrel. There you go. That is still placid. Thousands of tadpoles happily awaiting their hosts. The uh. winged serpent of the century. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We we knew that already. Oh, a sun melon, a pear? I'm just leaving food behind. Starving children in Africa. Obviously, there's starving children everywhere. That feels like a weird... I don't know. I don't know if that's a weird statement or not. That particular guilt trip that they used to use. I don't know. It feels weird, but it also doesn't. You know? I don't know. <sighs> also, just for shits and giggles, I'll say this one time. Fuck Dr. Disrespect. That's it. liked his ass anyway.
Yeah, here's where we sprung Minthara. This room should be pretty thoroughly looted. You never know, though, because, eh, you know. All right, cool. Nope, what, 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 what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Cool, let's go. Let's keep looting. Cell 3, cool. Thank you so much for, uh, you know, the information there, buddy. I was gonna open all the cells, like, what do you mean? A singular piece of gold on that skeleton. Yes, I said skeleton. But a single piece of gold had he. Tee hee ding lee dee. <laughs> worst. Worst attempt at poetry ever! Although. I am also the author of the uh, classic and world famous uh, Now I Think I'll Dance. Dancey, dancey, dance, dance, dance. Worst haiku ever. Okay, here we go. A list of prisoners who have passed through the dungeons of Moonrise Towers. The page opens on the following entry. Fionn Featherlight, transferred to Disciple Balthazar's care. Yusuf Furaha, found dead in cell. Remains sent to kitchen. Ooh. Uh, Anoska, uh, Anoska Tarasova, swore allegiance to the Absolute, sent for subjugation. Note. Disciple Balthazar's experiments now take priority. All prisoners are to be sent to his lab on his return, including Nimble Panternon, Nickel Zeltron, Wolbrin Bongle. Oh. Well. I mean, the other thing is uh, we don't necessarily care because we, uh, we killed the other one. You know, we, we sent him flying. Pull the other one. Map of the Sword Coast, from the Sea of Moving Ice down to just north of Omn, including several of the nearer archipelagos in the Sea of Swords. A large red arrow stretches out from the east, then branches into numerous small arrows, fanning out across the land to signify the Absolute's planned conquest. I'll just go ahead and take that. Just, uh, you know, send, send, send it right to the camp there. Put it right in me pocket. And now for the rest. For darling. More's the pity, I know, darling. But... A quick rummage. Into my pocket. Communal cell lever. Does, does this just hit all of them? It do!
can simply release them all. Maybe I need more pockets. You need a stronger back is what you need to Pegasus feather. I was not aware that Pegasi had wings. Er, fe I was gonna say feathers. And I just answered my own question stupidly. It's feathers from their wings. It's fine. We're not gonna talk about it. Prisoner journal. You hear things down here. Things from people with nothing to lose. No more secrets to keep. You hear that Ketherick's untouchable. Except he isn't, really. That he's got some relic or other in, a, in the mausoleum. A link. That's what you hear. And you hear that the link can be severed. You hear things like that. But you mostly hear them from people who are already out of their minds. Well, I mean... You know. Alright, so we're gonna save. What the hell is this place? I don't know. I don't know where we are, buddy. We gotta wait to load. Oubliette. Oh, is this the same? Dive as before, darling. Where there was another path down. Anything of use? Well, remains of a harbor. An illithid oubliette, right beneath the towers. The colony must be close. That must be where the tadpoles are coming from. <laughs> I see little reason to tarry, save to take all that is ours. Ah, here's... Ah, there's Walbrin. You know, I probably could have saved him. I'm pretty sure you can save him. Uh, the only reason he's dead is because I did, like, long rests and evil run stuff. But, you know, I, uh, I regret nothing. There's something on the other side. No way through from here, though. <sighs> One supposes not, but there is another way through there. I suppose there's not from here. Oh, darling. Well. Hook horror. <laughs> Wonderful. Where's the hook horror? I don't see no hook horror. Right now. I heard it, obviously, but I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh well. Oops. It's fine. Um. 
Oh god damn it. Over here. Because of the the poor timing of my Oh, I just basically lost a turn because I'm like, oh everyone going to stealth. Nothing will stand in my way. Oh well, who cares? At the ready. I'm not overly concerned. We'll figure it out. Uh. Whatever, you know what? I'm still not overly concerned. Starling. Much better. Um, Sometimes the only way out. But yes, Malaya. Uh, uh, lovely to hear that you're still with me, darling. Yeah, I think you still have that short bow where, like, you hit monsters real hard. Monstrosities. What should I do? You should also heal yourself. Just to get rid of the bleeding. Your command. Uh, go back. Come on. Can't stay idle. There we go. On your command. It's over. Ah, uh, yeah, it's over. <laughs> Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Oh. Darling, are you drawing what I think you're drawing? Can't slow down. Excellent. So just a civilian, huh? Ah, I don't know how kosher that food is to eat, but you know, whatever. Why is there a bird's out of the hook horror nest? That actually kind of makes sense. Here goes nothing. Oh, the stink of that place might never wash out. Yeah, well, you know. Is this... This is not where I think it is. So I think I know how to get to the other side of that chasm. Yeah, I... Okay, this is behind the cells. So I actually really do think I know how to get... Um, behind the chasm. Down in the oubliette. Da oubliette da mist. I need to play Final Fantasy XII again. I've never beat that game. It, it, one of my favorite games. One of my favorite mainline Final Fantasies. That's real good. I feel like it set the groundwork for, like... The more modern Final Fantasies you see today.
bit of tea. That's curious. Is it? Well, I suppose it is a bit. Got a sloop. Deck your sloop jump being gone. Get, get the club, please. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, all of the things, please. Okay. Skeleton. I've got a long road ahead. Yes, indeed. Try me. Now punch the wall. <laughs> there can be no respite. I'm here. Well, now I know the way to rescue Wolverine that, like, probably won't get me caught and get into a fight. You know, when I do this on, on much gentler runs. If you are sure. The bucket, please. More bucket. So anyway, I think the way to get to the other side of the chasm, if I'm not mistaken, at least things have stayed interesting. Would be. Can I get there through here? Maybe. I'm gonna go up the ladder as well. Yeah, this was. Top floor of all of this. And have we a key? We do, darling. Indeed, I believe this will be the very location, the very way to get to the other side. Of that chasm from the Obliette. Every bit. Perhaps a bit of feather fall. <laughs>
Ooh. Do I have anything to provide Featherfall? I don't want flying potions. That, that's, you know, a bit overkill for what we're trying. I might just have to jump. So I guess I'm gonna have to jump. Maybe. Whatever it takes. Nope. We don't need to jump. We're good. On I go. No time to rest. So I guess I'm gonna have to jump. Cause this is all right for tonight. Every bit as disgusting as the first time. Oh, this was. Damn! This was, in fact. Flies before me. Not the way to continue through the. Uh, to the thing. <sighs> Can I. attack this? No. Oh. Huh. All right, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, um don't waste a step. Let's uh, keep it pushing here, I guess. I did that one, I did that one, I did that one. Alright, I guess. I can't think of anything else to do here. Alright, off we go. That's where we rescued Minthara. That takes me out to the docks. Let's see what this I could, is. out of curiosity, see what happens if I take the sloop, but I won't because it's probably nothing uh, worth doing. All right. So. Be careful, I find. <laughs> not as hard as me, darling. Just tell me what you need. Compared to me, darling, you're little more than a pup. Whereas I'm the big bad wolf. Okay. Yeah, that's the one that we said we're going to keep. Or we're going to sell, rather. No, 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 no. Give that one back. Give that one back.
I think I, uh, maybe I'll keep both of them for now. I might send one or both of them to camp. Sooner or later. The Ring of Shadows. Du, 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 du. Zelda Bonds. There you go. I stay making money. Oh, speaking of. <sighs> Who that as well? Big time stuff. Do I need any more potions off of you? I mean, I could take them, but I don't really need them, need them. Uh. You know what? Go ahead. Tis a mere trifle, a pittance, really. To acquire these potions from you here split six you take those starion can keep the rest looking ahead that should serve just fine for uh continuing to Better not be keep cursed. the party alive Amidst the need for rests and the like. Ah. We're pushing them back. The Moon Maiden's with us. Yeah, I mean, kind of a Pyrrhic victory here, but um, always room for more. Now yeah, we figure it out. to walk the shadows at your side. A little more inviting here, though, eh? It was. It was an honor to... <sighs> Darling, are you not aware... ...of what happened downstairs? I suppose I can make you aware. Just wait. I suppose I can make you aware just like this. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. Your violence hasn't gone unnoticed. It's about to be returned in kind. Well, glad to have you here. Very happy to have you here. Let's continue with the slaughter. Smoke this fool. Yeah, get him out of here. Pack him up. Uh, Thermal Arconic Gloves. Whenever you deal fire damage, you gain two... Yeah, heat socks. Heat's such a fucking garbage... Ability, whatever.
But indeed, is that is that is that the good Josh Franklin? Actually, probably not. I might be thinking of someone else. No. Yeah, I was right. Never mind. Yeah. For a hot, hot second, I thought I, uh, thought I'd done goofed. You know, let's just go this way. There are other ways, mm hmm. Does this count? Does this but yeah, always glad to have, uh, one of the Love and Light crew here. Let's see what you like. Incredibly excited for, um... You know what? Just everyone get out of everyone get out of stealth. It's fine. There's no way we can get through here. Um, incredibly excited for next month. Sheremy is going to be in town, and God, the way I'm excited. Yeah, me too. I miss him too. Um, like the 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 serendipity to is. Serendipity, though, that she's going to be in town on her birthday. The first day of the convention is on her birthday. On my way. And I got so many gifts for her. Let me smoke Radija here. I'll certainly attempt to smoke her. Damn. Fresh orders. Yeah, don't don't screw up the way uh, Shadowheart did. Those are my orders for you. All right, light her up. My faith will protect me. Yeah, cancel and turn to have your melee weapon on. You as well. Everyone melee weapons on. So that we can actually get opportunity attacks, maybe. See you later! <laughs> we ain't having your, your little fucking fireball party here. A million times fireball. Your crew had that advantage, but not you. Something good here. I hope. Don't mind if I do. I'll take charcoal. I don't care. It's still money. Yeah, uh, how you been? How's, uh... Yeah, it... Honestly, like, the... I, I started, um, a private game of this, like, way before I was streaming it, and, uh, I'm already further than I've been in that one. It just, it... It... Time and adulting. All right, <clears throat> Now come we in reverence before the Absolute and her true souls, rejoicing in the three glories of belonging, and reveling in the requital, for deeds duly done in the Absolute's name. Glory the first is our purpose, filling us with determination to bring to all mortals the joy of reverence of the Absolute. Second, er, sorry, glory the second is our obedience. The bliss of knowing that we exalt ourselves when we surrender our wills to the Absolute's commands. Glory the third is our dominion, for obedience to the Absolute places us above all other mortals, and it is righteous to command them. 
And when, through our obedience, we have achieved dominion, the absolute grants us permission for requital, revelry without restraint, to express our joy and pride in the absolute's service. Yeah, uh, cool story. I'm just going to take this book and, you know, I'm going to go bury it in my camp where it's never going to see the light of day ever again. Yeah. Yeah. What's next is we're gonna pick this fucking lock. I know I have been in here before, but just through through different routes and 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 paths. Oh no, you're not allowed to be in here. It's, it's bad times. It's illegal. And meanwhile, we're just cooking the master of this place. Hello. I do believe this is Balthazar's door. It is indeed. Nothing but gore, viscera, and entrails. How gauche. The way no one has ever described gore, viscera, and, and entrails. Oh, it's 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 loud. It's obnoxious. It's gauche. Uh, it's going, Mastermind. We're uh, Jahira. I I think you were here last time for when Jahira got killed, because I didn't you know convince her to stay with me, and then she just ran off and and you know got herself killed. But um. Yeah, apart from that, it's been going well. How are there things that I never looted in here? Attracting drow exiles. Ooh, slow down. Dictated to Scribe Yanthus by General Kethrick. Sweeping up individual drow renegades is not giving us the cadre of loth-trained veterans I want for our staff and officer corps. We must be more ambitious. Agent Zilver, True Soul 113, will be commanded to infiltrate Menzo Baranzin itself, ideally House Banra, ostensibly to uh, proselytize on behalf of the Divine Absolute. I think Zilver will be convincing in this role. This intrusion will excite outrage among the Banra matrons, who can be counted upon to send a warband to exterminate whoever was so rash as to promote anti loth apostasy in their home. Zilver will have left a clear trail back here to Moonrise Towers, where the warband will find not a circle of ragtag heretics, but an army in the, ra in the making. I will parlay with the drow leader, but as we negotiate, her warband will be ambushed, and every drow warrior we capture will be tadpoled. This accomplished, the warband leader will meet the same fate, and thus we shall acquire our cadre of hardened underdark warriors. And all it will cost us is the life of loyal Agent Silver, but he is, truth be told, a tedious enthusiast, and I will not miss him. Cold-blooded, but alright, sure. I guess I never finished looting this place, because, like... I don't know how one figures I've done... Oh, maybe, like, I just looted the... the I don't know. It's been so long since I've looted this place. Should mind my staff. Oh, right! I grabbed Gale for something here. And whatever was supposed to happen here never happened here, I guess. The 
Ethic of War by Christina Suelto. My colleague Emaps proposes fair rules of engagement in times of war, and forgiveness upon victory. No, I don't care about that. Um, how we despair our enemies then? Ow, hold on. Ow, ow, ow. Alright, we're fine. <clears throat> Are we to spare our enemies then, once they have fallen to our might? Are we to put all hatred behind us when surrender is offered? <laughs> Indeed not. For what shall we do, once our opponent gathers new armies and masses them once again along our borders? We shall wage another war, and count the lives snuffed out by our own magnanimity. Magnanimity, yeah, I said that right. Magnan yeah, magnanimity. Magnanimity as well. No, I got that right. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. I, I feel like I raided his room and I did not find the thing that I was looking for. But I'll try again. Um, magnanimity. Once an enemy kingdom is conquered, it must be raised to the ground. Only then... Can we be free of its specter? Well, go be free of being free. I mean, I'm going to be making my way back in there anyway. So, uh, I guess we'll find out. Indeed, Toril is quite the expansive place. Rich and fertile map. Alright. This ancient map depicts the area surrounding Moonrise Towers in detail, depicting a profusion of local fauna, deer, rabbits, black bears, uh, and flora, with special emphasis placed on areas for prolific foraging. Well, oh, I can't take it. Fine, bruv. You understand, bro. Uh, yeah, we saw that already. So you're actually just gonna get uh, collected. Invasion plans for Eltigard. A map of Eltigard centering on the city of Eltruil and showing the nearby towns of Triel. Uh, Scorno, uh, Scornabel and Burdusk. A series of concentric lines surround the city, with all avenues of escape blocked off. Plans for a siege. Rough shit. Um... Oh my. A missive from Gortash. General, given what we know from my research about the Gith artifact, I can't emphasize enough how critical it is that it be recovered. The power that artifact contains can boost our own efforts to unforeseen levels. But if it falls into the hands of enemies of wit and persistence, it could bring down all of our plans and schemes. The, hold on, much better. The body of our handpicked captain for the artifact raid wasn't found in the wreckage of the Nautiloid, and I'm not at all easy in my mind about that fact. Find the artifact. Employ rigorous means. Do not fail. Lord Gortash. Well, I'm just gonna send that a little, a little more evidence. A granite bench alight with holy fire? Sure. Oh yeah, that lever opened that door, and I was sitting... I, I was sat here, like... Trying to get a nat 20 on a, on a 30 DC door. Mistake. 
I remember that. Well, here we are again. I'm assuming it's a it's a circle of some variety involving this ancient altar, which I have no fucking clue what I'm supposed to put in here. You know what? How about I look it up? How about I simply discover the answer? Uh, I don't know that I have a heart. I don't think I've ever picked up a heart anywhere. This is the heart of Balthazar. Did I leave that in camp? Do I have Balthazar's heart? Uh, I don't ever remember getting a heart anywhere in here. Because I remember, like, specifically looking for um, anything that would help me get into that altar room, and I, I never found anything. And unfortunately, this is also, like, going off of where I've been in here once before. But. Uh. You know, it's been so long that I don't really remember kind of what's what. There's an illithid parasite in that corpse. Ooh. You should take a look. Yeah, man. Shifting corpus ring. Fascinating. Is that who I think that is? Hold on. Sorry, bear with me. Yeah, okay, that is who I thought it was. Uh. I. I'll look. I'm. Mm, I'll have to look again around here, because I, I swear I never found anything so conspicuous as a heart. Regards you lifelessly. Who were you before you became a true soul? Marcus Falgon, raised in Baldur's Gate. Um, what is the absolute end game? That's what you think. Did I... What? Hold on. 
Oh, it's it's just the the iPad that's bugging. That's fine. Hold on, I can fix that. I can fix this. Okay. Now we gotta get back into here. There we go, now the monitor's working again. Okay. Do you have any valuables in this place? How did you come to follow the Absolute? Squad captured enlightened. Do you know the source of Kethrick's and do you know of Kethrick Thorm? Chosen of the Absolute once Very well, darling. Missive from Catherick. Oh, I never took... Oh, was that just in this room? And Okay, it must have just been in that room. A map of Boulder's Gate depicting Upper City, Lower City, and Outer City as far as Worms Crossing. As well as Grey Harbor and the near course of the Kianthar. Arrows show the intended progress of the armies of the Absolute, with weak points in the city, defenses marked with X. Um. Yeah, yeah, we already know about a rich and fertile land. Balthazar has sent neither word nor notice. Wherever he's gone is a mystery. Need someone to investigate his chambers, but no doubt he's rigged the thing to high hell. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rig my ass to high hells. Got it. There might have been an NPC roaming around here, which is why I was not uh, thorough in my search. Although in Balthazar's room, that's no excuse. Hello, my name's Mig. Might I have some mince pa? What's hiding here? Yeah, it was Mig who I was hiding from as well. Argument solver! <laughs> Few things solve a disagreement faster than displaying a great club. This one reeks too. Yeah, well. At your command. Hmm. Still alive. So that's progress. The only other thing I can think, and this is kind of a crazy long shot.
is if somehow this heart, whatever it is, ended up being a camp supply. The answer is no. Okay. One day I'll catch a break. I'll give it a shot. No traps, please. Okay, yeah, I, uh... I don't ever remember pulling a heart here. Ever. But let me, just for, for, you know, sake of whatever. Oh, right. Let me see if I have a heart of some variety in my camp. thing would be that I somehow what's inside missed <clears throat> the thing in here um Once we've already seen this, we're about to do this. I need a bus right now. Uh huh. Uh. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing as well. I think is this one. Won't budge. I think I've done this before. Let me see. Um, then you interact with the stone plinth beside the shop. Okay, so I did raise that before. Check the room for hearts that have been discarded. You know the alt key to... Yeah, the, it... I swear, I've never seen not one heart that's been discarded. They're saying it's just supposed to be on the floor here somewhere.
Maybe. I mean, here, let's 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 do a thing real quick. Let's go into our Wayback Machine. And if I lost access to it, I lost access to it, but, um... I legitimately have no recollection of ever finding a heart anywhere here. Alright, so Balthazar's room is this one. Never wanted the easy path. Watch your back. Darling. This is going to be DC-30. It's not going to be easy, my boy. But we knew that. I don't even care that there's a, a, a easier way to get in here. Hmm. What's that? Heart. How did that happen? Maybe I... Alright, well maybe I did... Find it and sell it, cause I found that instantly! Instantly I found that! weird cold brim hat once per turn any condition inflicted on a target also applies two turns of encrusted with frost oh is that blood no never mind might give you a different helmet well then again i don't know if you saw that same one Romancer was experimenting on the tadpoles. Cool, I don't recall asking you. But they were already imbued with Netherese magic. So where did that magic come from? Don't ask me. I've redirected some materials from beneath the tower. I plan to simply raise what forces I need inside the mausoleum itself. But the general prefers that no more of his family crypts be disturbed. Even so, I may have no choice. The temple will not surrender the night song easily, and the general's invulnerabil invulnerability depends on it. I'm sure he will forgive a little transgression if it frees the army to move on to Baldur's Gate at last. Ah, ritual circles. We'll need to explore thoroughly. I doubt Kethrick leaves the means to his downfall out in the open. Sure. A ritual circle. Looks like it would use the necrofting of 
Why are you down here? What? Buddy? Now where's the rest of the crew? Oh, you're over here. Okay. Yeah, you just have to take that one point of damage, my guy. What do you mean target is too far? into the bench's rotted surface as strange, half-faded sigils. A magic circle of some kind, thick with darkness and decay. A ritual circle. And a complex one at that. I've seen such a construction before in the writings of the Weave Pasha Alm Raven, though his vision was not so... tainted. What is its purpose? Sigils are written in a curious mix of tongues. Ancient Kalashite, Netherese, something else I can't quite make out. If I'm reading it correctly, it was used in the creation of moon lanterns. It's been mostly drained, but even now contains a powerful dose of shadow weave. The discarded pixie corpses might still contain enough essence. In one of the broken lantern casements, Yes, I think I'll be able to craft one more lantern. And with a slight modification of the casting gesture, it might be able to wield the shadows instead of repelling them. Ooh. Though, Mistress Eyes may be upon me. You should forbid me dabbling with such magic. You should want it destroyed. Wasted, arguably. What would the choices be? You know what? Do do what you're gonna do. I don't care. Very well. Stand back, if you please. It doesn't take much. The sigils fade. The circle's tainted magic dissolving harmlessly into the ether. For a wizard who slept through his Kalashite lessons, eh? All's well that ends. No, not as bad as it could have. Did you feel that? If I wasn't surrounded on all sides by the darkness of the shadow cursed lands, I'd think it was Mistra herself brushing against my skin. I felt it too. Like my skin became charged with something, more alive somehow. That's Mistress Power for you. Where there's even a trace of magic, she will be there to bring it to life. There's clearly some magic in you if you were able to sense her presence. But I think I felt something stronger. She's left some tiny part of herself to watch over me, I think. A boon to help us reach the heart of the well... world in one piece. Unless this boon of hers saves you from detonating the orb, it hardly seems worth it. Mm, true enough. Somehow I doubt that's an order Mistra will be willing to rescind, no matter how many times I impress her. The stakes are simply too high. Strange, though, that she would reward me for such a service now. She's hardly been forthcoming on that front since my banishment. Ah, perhaps I'm overthinking things. 
A blessing's a blessing. And this one should come in most useful. Lovely day, yes. Okay. Oh, that one hurts. That one hurts to lose. I'll see if I can find the heart if I left it with someone anywhere else. What path lies before me? If I if I dropped it in camp or if I sold it to a merchant who's still alive. Seems simple enough. And if I didn't, and if it's simply my loss, then it's simply my loss. But Oof, a doofa does that hurt. Cause I, I swear I don't ever remember picking up a heart. You're like, yeah, as we've seen, it was right here, so, you know, how could you miss it, but... I swear I never found a heart the first time. I wonder if something could happen that that heart gets destroyed. And maybe I accidentally triggered something that destroyed that heart. It's the only other thing I could think of why... Uh, you know, I didn't find a heart right in the middle of that room and, and you know, didn't put two and two together. Uh, actually, I can maybe see where I wouldn't put two and two together from there. Actually, I can see quite easily where that would happen. Fuck! Well, either I get lucky or I don't get lucky. I don't think I'm getting lucky. Oh, all right. I'm pretty sure. Now that I'm thinking about it, that feels like a case of where I found the heart was like, oh, weird, just more viscera among all this other stuff, and then just got rid of it. And I was like, alright, whatever, this is probably fine. <sighs> well, whatever. Oh, well. Try to can't, like, rip someone else's heart out. Like, hey, dummy, here you go. Honestly, though, like, that that would explain why I have no recollection of picking up a heart. Something good here. You know, if indeed it was just a case of, like... It was there, and I figured it was more, you know, just gore. And, and stuff like that from a necromancer's room and, and you know, thought what nothing of it. Well, Malaya, if, you're, if you still got your ears on, when you get to act two, 
Don't make the same mistake I did. If you see a random heart just sitting on a table, uh, it might be important. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll, I'll do it again. Because the one way they said to get in there was pull the top right book, which brings up the stone plinth, which, you know, obviously uh, uh, I did already. And then... Uh, you know, go put the heart there. Where the hell did I put that room? But yeah, I, I can do that. I can I can save and go fuck around with the the, the books here. As a matter of fact, let's separate so that not everyone is is gonna fall into. Yeah, poisons and venoms. Yeah. Does this room say permanently covered in poison? No, it does not. Okay. Won't budge. Oh, is it only like one at a time? Try Galvanic Interrogations. What does Galvanic Interrogations do? Oh, there it is. What does... Oh, Galvanic Interrogations probably, like, brought back monsters, maybe. Oh, well, that did that. If there is a wild way to cheese to get in here, I have an idea. I don't think it's going to work. But I do have a crazy idea. No, 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 no. Come back here, come back here, come back here. My faith protects me. Again, I don't think this works, but we'll try it. Oh, that other one isn't lighting up. Oh, it did. But just very quickly. Nah, I didn't do anything. Damn! Yeah, it's gonna be a while. Yeah, don't... I think I'm cooked on that front. I was also hoping for like I don't know like a like a Hold on. 
Hold on. Wild, really wild idea. Wild idea flexing my D&D &D knowledge. Now, I don't know that this will work, but um, it might. I'll take another look. Just tell me what you need. Um, I'll even look more carefully this time, in fact. Two red things are too small to see. Well, I'm scanning a lot more carefully. Obviously, it's not the staff. Uh, these are we're still in weapons. Uh, hats. So technically, anyone can dual wield. Um, it's just kind of a question of. Uh, should they dual wield? And by the way, that's true of just regular D&D &D as well. Where anyone can dual wield. Blood. Uh. Oh, you're probably, you're probably looking at the intestines. Mastermind. Yeah, hand, head, torso, uh, the pelvis, yeah, torso. No, I'm pretty sure if I would have sold it to anyone, it would have been one of the merchants here in, you know, the area. So, yeah, uh, literally anyone can, in theory, dual wield. Um, the reason why you see, uh, rogues dual wielding a lot, and, and obviously I have a Starian dual wielding, um, is to maximize the chances of getting sneak attack to hit. Since obviously, you know, the more times you can attack something, uh, if one attack misses, well, you have your bonus action, so you have another shot to potentially hit a thing. Um, which, funny enough, that said, rogues are terrible for dual wielding. Like, they... they Apart from getting more, you know, getting an additional attempt at uh, being able to land an attack and therefore proc sneak attack. Because you only get sneak attack once per turn. Lady. Um, Let's get going. Like, apart from that, it, it, what you, who you really want dual wielding. You really want fighters. I think fighters... And rangers get a dual wielding uh, um, thing, a dual wield uh, fighting style. I mean, well, it, it so it would be the same. Oh, great! I mean, it would be the same thing, mastermind, with a um. 
you know, a fighter with high strength. You know, it, it doesn't... It, in terms of if we're just talking about to hit and, and to... Like, it... it the other, the other side of that, I guess, would be you can kind of synergize that with, well, you're giving rogues finesse weapons, and um, uh, you're giving rogues finesse weapons, and you're going to need to have their decks high for other things anyway, so that all kind of synergizes, but kind of apart from that, it's very, like... Well, you know, rogues never really get any extra attacks as part of their class. And, uh... Um... They're gonna be... S Where's Shadowheart? Oh, no, they're all here. I'm bugging. Um... And they're all gonna be subject to the same issues of... Of, well, you don't get full damage on your offhand attack so like you know at that point it's a little bit wasted Keep your soul is in good hands you know what I mean all right Now this is as ideas go. Like, a, well, it, it, I'm not putting that in there. A little low key. So, for for people who are um, curious, because they don't like um, really. They don't. They don't fully explain how offhand attacks work in in Baldur's Gate. But so normally, when you're calculating um, uh, uh, and when you're doing an attack, <sighs> the way you calculate your roll to hit is one d twenty plus your proficiency bonus plus the appropriate modifier. For most weapons, it's strength. Uh, if you're using a ranged weapon, it's dexterity. If you're using a finesse weapon, you can choose whether you want strength or dexterity as your uh, as your ability score, you know, for, for to hit. And then if you hit, the damage roll is... Each weapon has its own uh, damage die. So, like, for instance... My hunting shortbow, it's a D6. So, um, uh, not counting the, the plus one enchantment, the damage die would be 1D6 plus the ability score modifier you use to hit. So, because bows are ranged weapons, it would be 1D6 plus dexterity. When you attack with an offhand weapon, when you have someone dual wielding, the attack roll is the same. It's still 1d20 plus your ability score modifier plus your proficiency bonus. The damage... When you roll for damage on an offhand attack, you do not add your ability score modifier. So... To go to Astarian here. Uh, his main weapon... That's supposed to be a D8. Because he's not... It's not a versatility. So... So for his main weapon... The damage roll would be... 1D8... Plus 3 for dexterity... Plus 1 because of... You know, plus 1 enchanted weapon. 
So that's you getting 1d8 plus 4. As the offhand weapon, the damage would only be 1d6 plus 2 because of the weapon enchantment. We're ignoring the plus 3. That's where, for most classes, it's not the best idea to dual wield. You can do it because you get an extra attack with your bonus action, but that offhand attack is never going to be as strong as your main hand attack. Um, fighters and rangers, maybe paladins, but I don't think so. But fighters and rangers, when they get to choose a fighting style, they can choose two-handed. Uh, it's called like something like dual wielding or two-handed fighting or something like that. Where um, they get to add their ability score modifier to their offhand attack. So that's why like those classes are, in theory, the best ones to dual wield. It just, you know, with rogue, it... it Main hand, off hand, doesn't matter. Either one can get you your sneak attack, so that's why you see a lot of people, like myself, dual wield with them. At least things have stayed interesting. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Okay, buddy. Can I look at your spell book at all? No? Okay. Alright. What now? How can I help? I'd be delighted, though someone else will need to watch the cook. When Thara can step aside. Back in the thick of things at last. Oh, how exciting. Good for you. Okay. Oh, I have the magic touch. Spell book. Second level. <laughs> okay. I don't know if this is going to work. It might not. But... From an actual tabletop perspective, certainly to the best that I can remember the mechanics, Breathe deep. Knock should open that door. Now, obviously, Baldur's Gate modifies a lot of mechanics, but, like, for instance, um, when you cast Knock, it creates, like, a stupid loud noise that can be heard. Um, uh, from very, very far away. Like a lovesick puppy. Short term amusement and much less happiness. And obviously for Baldur's Gate, they're just like, it's fine. You just, it, it, you open the door for free. Don't worry about it. If this works, this would be brilliant. I don't think it's going to work. But if it works, it would be brilliant. Because I am pretty sure that knock will will open doors with you know kind of trick locks like like this mechanical locks. Just if you know it's a secret door, you know you cast knock and it and it opens. Let's see. No! Damn! Ah, bastard. I got Thunder Waves gonna do anything. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, alright, 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 alright. Damn. Well, I tried. I tried to be a clever dick, and, uh, well, it didn't work out for me. Damn. Oh, if only this was tabletop. For real, for real. 
Yeah, whatever. You know, we 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 do. <sighs> Is my mo what the fuck? When did my model stop working? All right, so oh, because V Bridger is bugging out. All right, well we can fix that. How long has my model been stuck this way? Because I did not notice it at all. Hopefully it only just got stuck this way. But you know, if it didn't, it didn't. It's fine. Come on, buddy. Alright, so it wasn't... It wasn't stuck for two... Oh, interesting. So that's what's going wrong with it. Why would it be off from here? Actually, I might know why it's off from here. And if I were to do that... And then attempt to... No? Okay. Interesting. What if I were to do this? I'm getting ready to sign off, so, like, none of this is important in any way, but, you know. We ball. Anyway, for everyone who managed to come out here and watch this live, I love and appreciate you for watching this live. If you're watching this on the VOD, I hope you'll join me live every Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, as mentioned, uh, the plan what the hell is all this? Ooh. Forgot that Power World updates tomorrow. Um, so yeah, as previously stated, the pl oh, there you go. See, now you're working again. What a heck. <laughs> that was as easy a fix as one could ask, I suppose. Here, let me make sure that I'm looking straight ahead again. There you go. It's a little, it's a little wibbly wobbly, but you know, no, ain't no timey wimey, so it's fine. Um, uh, tomorrow will probably be Yakuza. Well, I mean, unless I hear that, uh, Taylor just can't do Sandrock Friday. Um, then tomorrow will be Yakuza, Friday will be Sandrock collab, and then next week, you know, back to our regular scheduled programming. Uh, yeah, alright, who am I rating? Oh, Yuki Ray is playing Yakuza. Oh, she's playing Blockuza. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta raid her. Easy. We gotta show support for Yakuza players, especially the older ones. So yeah, I think that'll do it for me. Uh, take care, everyone. I love you. Be well. Uh, hug your pet. Uh, it it bet to it copyright infringe Safi again. I love her outro. Anyway, I'm just gonna go. Okay, bye. <laughs>